COVID-19 taught African countries one lesson. That is the need to build upon its health systems with the capacity to accurately diagnose and treat infectious diseases in a timely manner. Until then, the continent's diagnostic capacity was the poorest because governments paid less attention to diagnostics and the regulation of medical devices. This always kept Africa at the end of the line to receiving diagnostic devices and vaccine supplies globally. However, in readiness for future pandemics, medical laboratory scientists from the sub-region met in Accra to discuss how member states could be self-sufficient in safe, sustainable, resilient and affordable diagnostics, treatment and the prevention of diseases. They hope to also engage governments of member states to invest in the postgraduate training of medical laboratory sciences. We need to promote research of diagnostics that are suited for low resource settings. We need to develop national diagnostic strategies that are based on an integrated MBTF network. Having experienced the devastating effects of Ebola in Liberia during her tenure, former President Ellen Johnson Sirleaf implored governments not to overlook the roles of medical laboratory scientists in ensuring a healthier population. She called for capacity building to meet the global highest standards and create the enabling environment for vaccine production. The Deputy Minister for Health, Madame Tina Mensa, highlighted the need to address vaccine hesitancy and decrease the inequality gaps as the continent works towards vaccine sufficiency. The Africa Center for Disease Control warned of dire consequences of Africa's low vaccination coverage. Since Omicron, we have so much vaccine coming to Africa, but we have two challenges. One, vaccine hesitancy. As I speak to you now, between now and May, uh, end of this month, we have around 2.5 million doses of vaccines that are going to expire in multiple countries, including Ghana. DRC has around 1.8 million doses of vaccines, Pfizer and Mondina, that will, that will expire on May 26. So they have given us vaccines, but the demand are going down because we have the security that's one. Dr. Muso Kafala also entreated West African states to apply for the Africa CDC's readily available funds to facilitate efforts to combat COVID-19 and prepare for future pandemics. The conference was on the theme ensuring diagnostic capacity and vaccine sufficiency as panacea to combating infectious diseases in West Africa. Zero for GBC News, Accra.